Welcome to the vlog. I took a little bit of a vlogging break just because I needed a little bit of a break. I talk about work and I talk about my job all the time. I feel so incredibly fulfilled at my 9 to 5 job that sometimes I just don't feel like I want to edit a YouTube video or pick up the camera to vlog. In this day and age of, you know, being able to do YouTube as a full-time career, being a content creator, being able to do that full-time is a real thing and it's something that a lot of people want to pursue as a career. And in this moment in time, I wholeheartedly believe I'm not someone that can do that. I personally believe that it's totally okay to want to work a regular nine to five job. Something I mentioned in a vlog that I posted in July is that I admitted to being a workaholic in that I feel like there aren't enough hours in the day and I feel like there aren't enough days in a week and a way that I'm trying to combat that is just kind of I'm saying yes to more adventures, to more plans, to making memories with friends and slowing down on the work a little bit if I'm feeling tired and I really just don't feel the motivation to want to edit a video, I will honor that and I'll just not edit the video. I'm having this realization where I just don't want to look back on these times and regret all of the hours that I spent working when I could have been doing something with my friends. I could have been making memories with my friends. I could have been going out and just living a fun life, you know, and life isn't all about work. It's not that I wasn't living a fulfilling life before, but I definitely did let work control a lot of my time so i think this is something that i'm definitely actively working on i'm feeling very happy and fulfilled with every aspect of my life right now and that's all you could really ask for holy moly your belly button <laughs> I just got my eyebrows tattooed today. I got them done by Nancy Inks. I have been debating on getting this done for quite some time now and I just decided to book an appointment and get it done and I'm really happy with how they came out. They look very dark right now because 
they're still fresh but once they peel once they heal and you know the color starts fading a bit it'll be the color that i want they look a little bit intense right now but with the healing process and with my oily skin i know that they'll soften up so we'll see how the progress goes completely forgot to update you on the brows this is technically day 13 now but all of it's peeled off and this is what it looks like healed i have a touch-up appointment in i think three weeks from now so we're gonna see how the first round looked and we're gonna fill it in a little bit more i have really oily skin so this is probably why um there's like all these little gaps but i'm really happy with the shape and the color of it so far and this is me without makeup right now this i just have sunscreen and moisturizer on but yeah so busy i have a ton of pr that needs to be unboxed opened i will give you all of the promo codes if any of you are interested in trying any of the things out all of the links for the promo codes and affiliate codes will be linked in the description before we get into the unboxing there are two things that i want to say um the first thing is just thank you because i mean without having a platform like youtube or instagram and without having subscribers or followers, I wouldn't have this opportunity to be able to receive PR packages like this. And there is not a day that goes by where I forget why I'm able to receive these things. I am grateful. I still sometimes when I receive a package, just can't believe that I am someone in a position to be able to receive these things and that brands actually want to work with me. When I started vlogging a few years back, I remember watching a bunch of YouTubers do PR unboxings in their vlogs or in their YouTube videos and all I could think to myself was, wouldn't it be nice to also receive PR someday? And I just, it, it's a surreal feeling and you know, the imposter syndrome definitely kicks in. And yeah, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you. Second thing is I want to be fully transparent that this video is not sponsored. Everything that I received here was for free because of PR. Some of the codes that I'll be leaving on screen and linked in the description, I do make a tiny bit of commission off of. So that just means that if you use my code or if you use my link, that I make a tiny bit of money from that. It's a small percentage. There's no extra cost to you, but if anything, these codes actually give you a little bit of a percent off. I guess one last thing is you absolutely do not have to purchase anything in this video. I just want to show you some of the products that I personally am a fan of. If you're interested in trying it, feel free to use my discount codes. But again, big emphasis on there is no pressure in purchasing anything that's in this video. But again, thank you to all of these brands for sending me these packages and for trusting me to promote your brand. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's just start with the top. This first package is from LA Apparel. If you've never heard of LA Apparel, they're from the makers of American Apparel. So they reached out to me, they let me pick out a couple of pieces to try on. The first item I picked was the one shoulder crop top. I've been a big fan of one shoulder tops lately. These are the interlock running shorts. They look like the dolphin shorts from American Apparel if you remember those. This is the flex fleece crop half zip. One thing I will say is I wish this had pockets, but it's so soft. This next piece is the heavy fleece sweatpant. I really like that it's got pockets on both sides, it has a back pocket, and it also has an adjustable drawstring. And the last piece is just a crop zip up. I'm a big fan of zip up jackets and I just really like the color of this wash. Thank you Los Angeles Apparel for sending me this. This is actually the first apparel brand that's reached out to me and sent me something. So the next box that I have is from ColourPop. They sent me the Soul Face Slash Body Balm. It is a face and body bronzing balm comparable to other glowy bronzing creams on the market. The next is the Brow Styling Wax. You can get that fluffy, bushy brow look with this wax. Next is the Precision Brow Pencil. It is a waterproof formula. The Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. Combine the color of a lipstick with a creamy matte finish of a lip balm. This is the Glowing Lip. Get the ultra comfy benefits of buttery ingredients 
scents like argan, cocoa, superfruit, and shea butters with a splash of buildable color to really stand out and shine. And finally, we have the Cheek Dew Serum Blush. It is a lightweight liquid blush for customizable coverage. So thank you so much ColourPop for sending me all of these goodies. I've been working with ColourPop for about a year now and just flashing back to the first email I got of them asking if I was interested in working with them. I just can't believe how much time has passed. Next package is from Built Bar. This is either my order of restocked Built Bars that I placed an order for or it's a new flavor that's coming out. They've been pushing new flavors out so fast lately I haven't been able to keep up personally. They are coming out with a s'mores built puff and a cookie dough chunk built puff. If you don't know what the built puffs are, in comparison to their regular bars, they are marshmallowy, they are puffy, they are a very good chewiness, they don't get stuck to your teeth. If you're interested in getting anything at Built Bar, use code LINDA for 10% off your orders. So the next package is from Verst. They are a cruelty-free, vegan, sustainably-minded skincare company. They reached out to me and they wanted to send me a couple of products. I never go out of my way to try anything new in my skincare routine, but I'm very excited that Verse reached out to me and decided to send me some things. So the first item is Keep the Peace. It's a foaming cream cleanser that calms and controls acne with 1.5% salicylic acid and soothing blue tansy. This is the Weekend Glow. It is a daily exfoliating toner that brightens an even skin tone, targets dark spots, and helps reduce the appearance of pores. This is Just Breathe, a lightweight water gel serum that helps balance oil production, clears breakouts, and calms inflammation and redness. And the final product is the Dew Point. It's their best-selling gel cream moisturizer that absorbs instantly and disappears into the skin. And it also came with this really cute pink headband. If you're interested in shopping at Verse, you can get 10% off with Skate with Linda 10. Again, I will leave that link in the description if you're interested in trying it. Very excited to try these products because I have been breaking out a little bit around my chin area, so hopefully this will combat that. Been getting a lot of skincare brands sending me things. I don't know if that's saying something about my skin or if I'm just getting more opportunities but so this next package is from Lux Skin. I'm actually really excited to try these products because I've seen these products all over Instagram and I just never came got around to purchasing them. First thing is this facial steamer. This is the face sculpting tool. The product that I'm most excited to try is actually this IPL handset. This is supposed to be one of those at home like laser kind of kits or whatever for laser hair removal. And also all of the products are my favorite shade of pink so that just makes me a little bit more excited to try all these products. But again, thank you Lux Skin for sending me this. Future me coming in real quick to discuss this unboxing. So I'm working on a campaign with Quest Nutrition right now. Everything just came in the mail. I just unboxed everything and y'all, Clark from Quest Nutrition asked me what my favorite products were. I told him my three favorite flavors of the protein chips, the, my absolute favorite Quest protein products ever. And these two flavors of the Quest frosted cookies, they taste like cupcakes. They're so delicious, you have to try them out. And these two flavors of the protein shakes, I love mixing in with my coffees in the morning. The vanilla tastes like melted ice cream, trust me. And the salted caramel goes so good with the coffee. Thank you again so, 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 so much, Quest Nutrition. Roller Skate Nation was kind enough to send me a new pair of skates. I did a review video on the Vanilla Parfait skates last year and these are the new Vanilla a la mode skates. These skates came in five beautiful colors and I got to choose the color I wanted. I decided to go for the Mocha. Now if you order this boot specifically on the Roller Skate Nation website, you have the choice of the five colors and you also get to pick the plate that it comes with. You have the option of the silver aluminum plate or the white Avanti magnesium plate. These skates come with the new Backspin Jelly Roll wheels. It is is a 62 millimeter 78a outdoor wheel and if i'm not mistaken i believe the jelly roll wheels come in seven different colors so you have the option of seven colors to pick to go with your wheels the toe stop is a rubber adjustable toe stop it is not a bolt-on so if you do decide to swap the toe stops out for jam plugs make sure you get the right size honestly one of my favorite things about vanilla skates is the cute little interior to go over sizing real quick vanilla skates always comes in men's sizes but if you shop on the roller skate nation website next to the men's size they have the women's or lady sizes. For me personally, I have a bit of a wider foot. I am a women's size nine, but all of the skates that I own that are vanilla, sure grip, or anything that comes in the men's sizing, I am a size eight. However, if you are in between sizes, instead of rounding up and going up a size, uh, for vanilla skates specifically for the parfait and the a la mode skates, they recommend sizing down. Something that I like personally about the vanilla parfait skates last year is that they had a wider toe box, and they did it again for the a la mode skates right here, so you can tell there's just a wider toe box so it's nicer for people
people with wider feet, wider toes, and that's definitely something that I look for in a boot. I have a promo code on Roller Skate Nation, so if you click the link that's in the description of this video and you use code Linda, you will get 10% off at checkout. The 10% off code also applies on the vanilla a la mode skates, so feel free to click the link in my bio and shop below. It's 6.30 p.m. and it is 100 degrees still. So I'm actually the only one at the rink right now. I'll show you, it's completely empty. <laughs> I have the whole place to myself. Couldn't wait, decided to come out during the heat wave to skate. Wearing this hat and skating in this weather right now just reminds me of when I first learned how to roller skate. You know, the first 30 days of roller skating, if you've come from that video. I published that video in October of 2020 and I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually filmed that entire video from August through September and it was in the middle of the LA summer. It was super hot. But if you remember in that video, I was wearing long sleeves in every single video and that was because I didn't want to get weird t-shirt tan lines. I was insecure about showing my skin and every time I went home I came back soaking in sweat but as you can see the Sun is going down and uh, oh I'm wearing a shirt that matches my um, skates <laughs> so one of the things that I learned when getting new skates is always to adjust the plates and the wheels I prefer my trucks to be on the tighter side but I like to loosen them up so at least I can you know lean on the edges a little bit and feel just a slight looseness See you. 